We've talked about how connection pools are managed in JDBC version 1. Now we want to talk about how it's going to be performed with JDBC version 2. So we know the client browser is going to be generating different servlet messages. Those messages are going to be routed to an application server. And on the application server is where my servlets are going to retrieve those particular messages. So my servlets have been deployed into a web container into an instance pool area inside of the web container waiting for these particular messages to come in. So the instance pool is basically where they can gain access to these HTTP messages. They can then use the JDBC API to go out and retrieve information from different kinds of relational structures. We know that every time a message is sent in now, a servlet thread is going to be initiated out of the instance pool and the role of that particular thread is to allow us to create our own local objects to respond to a particular request. Now where does the JDBC component come in here? Well on the application server now, the application server is going to be responsible for building and managing all of my connection pool information. In JDBC version 1, we were doing that inside of our servlet applications themselves, inside of the init method. Well in this variation here, the application server is going to be responsible for not only configuring all the connection pool parameters as far as the minimum size, the maximum size, what databases they're going to be connected to, but it's also going to be managing things like the purge policy, handling failed connections, and also extending the, uh, the size of the pool to handle an increase in requests. So now all those different kinds of activities are going to be managed by the application server itself. So through the connection pools now we're going to have access to a relational structure. Every time my servlet wishes to access this particular relational database, they're simply going to be taking and asking for a connection from the corresponding connection pool. Once they're done with their processing, they'll be giving that connection back. It'll go back into the pool to be reused by somebody else. So we're no longer be, going to be concerned with managing the connection pool inside of an individual application. We're going to take those activities and we're going to offload them to the application server.